Along the coast in Iwate Prefecture and Miyagi Prefecture, tsunami has washed away everything and houses are completely gone and um, people lost their families and friends as well. We have um, been mobilizing the medical teams, uh, doctors and nurses, they help the people in evacuation centers or they help the hospital who's accepting the patients and also they go to the mobile clinic to the individual homes where the elderly people are staying and the, who cannot receive the regular medication. This disaster is not anything we have been prepared. It's a lot larger than what we predicted and currently there are more than 240,000 people are in evacuation centers. Uh, the de death toll has been rise more than 20,000 and missing. There are still 1,000 people missing. Um, originally in the northern part of Japan, the population of the elderly people, the rate uh, was quite high and the, the elderly people staying in evacuation center, they are crammed in one place and uh, can't have private and because they don't have much to do in a evacuation center, they are worried of being uh, having a Econom economic class syn syndrome, syndrome and also there's a worry about the inf influenza or those infectious diseases and uh, people are having a stress so they can't sleep well so they are starting to have stomachache and things so it's not a good environment in where they are in so you need to have uh, prehabilitated homes or some individual homes as soon as possible. We are now putting emphasis on uh, our effort on uh, psychosocial care. Our nurses are especially uh, trained as a uh, psychosocial caregiver. So our nurses talk to those elderly people, try to get the emotion out of them and to be, be beside them when they want to cry or when they want to express or when they want to uh, share the story what they have gone through. Our nurses are beside the, them and re receive and listen to the story. The people in the northern part of Japan, they have been coping really, really well and uh, whoever I made an interview with, they don't complain about the situation. They don't say, oh, I like this, I like this, I need this. They don't complain or they don't say anything negative. They are trying hard to have a positive mind. They are already looking at the future. Some person described, described me how they are going to rebuild the town and even the small kids, they say, um, I would like my town to be uh, happy and smiling again because adults are a bit down so kids ourselves give them a smile so they are in, in a, as in a group they are trying to be get back better strongly.